name is Phyllis Rydell. I was born Phyllis Berger in New York City. Uh, my parents were Hilda and Abraham Berger. Uh, Abraham was one of five brothers. Uh, he he was um, he was the firstborn. He was a uh, first generation because his parents were Hungarian. They came to New York City in the late 1870s. My uncle Jack was musical because uh, he. Um, he owned a music store in Charlotte, North Carolina, and he was um, the director of music for the Charlotte Public School. Uh, my mother uh, was also musical, apparently, because she uh, she bought a piano three years before I was born. As soon as she was married, she had a piano, because she knew that if she had children, they would be taking piano lessons. She started me playing the piano when I was six, five or six years old. And she taught me the notes, but she soon realized that she wasn't able to teach me anymore because she had never played the piano herself. She would find neighborhood ladies, friends who could play the piano, and she considered them proper teachers. But in retrospect, they really weren't. They only knew how to play the piano. Uh, I also was so interested in music that I met my cousin who came from Queens, Phyllis Rottenberg. And we used to go to Carnegie Hall. We never had tickets, but we'd stop and look. Hey, Isaac Stern is playing, Heifetz is playing, let's go in. And we would go in for $2 a ticket. Uh, music was important. My mother had great ambitions. Uh, she took, she would wake me up every Saturday, come on, we're going to an audition. And I would sit there with all these other little girls and none of us were that talented. And we auditioned, and I, I hated doing it because I knew that I was not audition material. My mother felt I had enough talent. She wanted me to go to music and art high school, but I really didn't want to do that. I, I was too young, I was only a teenager, and I was in love. I wanted to go to a co-ed school, so I went for an audition to music and art high school and I deliberately made mistakes. I dropped the music so I would be certain that they wouldn't accept me, and they didn't. I just played for fun. Um, I, I really didn't perform at all. Uh, when I went away to the University of Wisconsin, I belonged to the orchestra, and I played the cello then. I think I was not taking piano lessons at that time, but I resumed after I graduated and I started taking lessons again. I had many, many different teachers, and I feel that none of them really knew what they were doing. Oh, when I was at the University of Wisconsin, I discovered I loved language, particularly French. And I had taken, in high school, four years of French. I taught myself Spanish, because I couldn't fit it into my program. And what I did was I studied the first two years by myself in Spanish. And what I did was uh, I took a test and they admitted me to third year Spanish. So I had two languages then, but French was always my great love. And uh, later in life, I became a French teacher. I taught French for 17 years at Mount Pleasant Senior High School. Debbie was born in St. Louis and we came, we came to New Jersey when, um, she was only about 13 months old, so she has no memory of St. Louis. Robin was born in New Jersey. Ellen was also born in New Jersey. And then we moved to Delaware. And Bill was born here in Delaware. And uh, we bought our first house in Delaware. Uh, I think it was in 1952. And, um, the kids all grew up here in Delaware. Um, I was I was playing the piano all along. I remember when Adam was born, my grandson Adam. Uh, I used to I used to play the piano, and he would walk around beating on uh, pots and pans. He would march around while I played. Debbie's children were musical through their father as well as uh, their mother's side, the, pater the paternal side. 
because of Sean, Sean's family. They got music that way. They got rhythm, actually. And for my family, I think they got perfect pitch. Jeremy and Micah, they also play the drums. And I think they got this, I believe they got this from their father's side of the family. But apparently they got something from my side of the family as well. When Robin comes to visit me, she always wants to hear me play, and she listens very, very carefully. She's very complimentary. Uh, Debbie comes off often, and when she comes, I play something for her, and she, she always tells me, Mom, that's awesome. I have a very good friend, Susan. Uh, Susan has been, coming, has been coming to my lessons. Susan had no rhythmic, uh, Susan had, had no con very little contact with music, and she said she's learning and she's understanding more and she's enjoying herself thoroughly. The last time we had a recital, there were 24 people here. So this is being used as a studio and they're very tolerant of my piano playing. They say they like to hear the piano. Nobody's ever complained. So how do you feel about playing music? I love it. In fact, I could be extremely tired and in pain. Uh, I do have some pain from this hip and this knee and my back, you know, the usual aches and pains. However, when I sit down at the piano, there is no pain. I get up, there is no pain whatsoever. It's the best medicine for me. Put in your walker in the trunk. All right. See you there. What's well, insane? It's insane that I have to walk. Look where I have to walk. You're, you're okay. Your spot, Go ahead. your spot was too narrow. My spot was too narrow? Well, if somebody could park if, the, yes, you please. know, and then, then I've had no room to get in. Finding a parking spot. Watching out for yellow cars. Speed demons. What makes you angry? People that take the spots. People that take the spots? Oh, yeah. the non-handicaps that take the handicapped yeah, spots? Yeah, they borrow a grandma's card, you know? I mean, anything. Anything goes. I hate the snow. I hate Delaware, period. What do you hate about Delaware? Everything. Like? You have to put up with this shit? Yeah. What shit? There's snow in the car. Well, you didn't hear the forecast? No. 60% snow flurries. And it's, I don't trust them anyway. Snow flurries could be snow. What is the acceptable the amount of snow flurries? Zero. It's a good amount. Yeah, yeah. Can we get a scooter? Of course you can. Thank you very much. Let's uh, let's pull over here by the milk. Yeah, you can't stop in one of the cracks. Sorry about that. Oh.